Hello Philippines, good day to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update, this is the weather analysis for today, Tuesday until Friday, May 27 to 30, 2025. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the premier colleges here in Bicol region and in Naga City. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. Now let's begin with our latest update. Looks like... Uh, we can only count a few days or seven days or more before the start of the wet season or the rainy season here in the Philippines. And uh, Pagasa is now reporting over the news that uh, either on or before the first week of uh, June, the onset of the rainy season is upon us. Okay, And we will bring you the very latest once the news will come out. But so far, we are now shifting from southeast easterlies to south to southwest. So that will be the wind direction for the next five to seven days. But so far, we don't have any uh, tropical cyclone developing, LPAs, just a possibility of a low pressure area of the uh, South China Sea, West Philippine Sea area sometime during the first week of June. But this is connected with a uh, strong frontal system that is set to form south of Japan into Taiwan and southern China. This will trigger alongside with a thermal low pressure area over uh, central China and this will trigger the onset of the southwesterly wind flow. And if you hear the southwesterly wind flow, it means that the southwest monsoon is fast approaching and it's likely if you count the amount of rainfall of five consecutive days of at least 20 millimeters and uh, more than 50 percent of Pagasa weather stations reporting rainfall or significant rainfall amounts then our weather bureau Pagasa will officially announce that we are now on the start of the wet rainy season okay so watch out for that now here's the latest graph set that we uh, created yesterday, valid until tomorrow, Wednesday. Here's now the tropical wave. Uh, actually, this has become 91W uh, 48 hours ago, but it's uh, weakened into an open tropical wave, and it's moving over the uh, West Philippine Sea, not having some development as of this time. It's still uh, disorganized. And the easterlies here is beginning to weaken a bit and it will pave way to more south southerly to southwesterly winds within the next five days. And this is the frontal system that will enhance that uh, southwesterly wind flow once a thermal low develops here over central China and the uh, development of uh, high pressure cell over South Indian Ocean that will pave way for the uh, southwesterly wind flow to uh, debut over our country and uh, watch out for uh, thunderstorms lightning strikes flooding if we have this uh, uh, severe rainfall during the afternoon or evening in two-thirds of our country and right now if we check the latest fast animation from the University of Wisconsin tropical cyclone page here's now the uh, tropical wave organizing but yet uh, not yet uh, fully healthy over the West Philippine Sea and uh, some thunderstorms appearing once again once the afternoon progresses into the evening. So here's the zoom in subtle animation as you can see from 11 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. developing thunderstorms are forming across vast areas of Mindanao Visayas, uh, what else? Uh, we are going to post this and move forward to around uh, 4.30 this afternoon. There you go. Uh, there are thunderstorms here over southern Tagalog provinces, particularly southern Quezon, 
uh, the western side of Camarines Sur, first district, along uh, Del Caliego, Regay, and also here over the mountainous and uh, uh, plains of uh, Ilocos region, particularly Ilocos provinces. There are thunderstorms again right now, and some areas of uh, Cagayan Valley, and the uh, vast area of Visayas, Panay, parts of Negros, parts of Samar Leyte, parts of Masbate, and the uh, large area of Mindanao. So this will be a, a daily occurrence. And once more than 50% of Pagasa weather stations reporting uh, uh, this uh, 20 millimeter rainfall accumulation for the next five days, then we will be hearing an announcement from Agasa that the start of rainy season has uh, commenced. Okay, so here's the uh, forecast for the next five days until Sunday. This from the European model, as you can see, this afternoon, uh, roughly two thirds of the country is being uh, affected by localized thunderstorms. So Wednesday tomorrow, another round of thunderstorms across various sections of the country including here over the Beagle region. There are some isolated areas in Beagle region that are experiencing some thunderstorms. Heat index right now is reaching a high a few days ago, reaching 49 here in Naga, and today is uh, it just hit uh, 48. Yesterday, 46, so it will be somewhere within that uh, range, okay? 45 to 50. And then thunderstorms will arrive during the afternoon or evening. Okay, and uh, Thursday afternoon again, thunderstorms, and you can see here that the wind direction is beginning to shift from the south, and on Friday, it's now blowing from the southwest, and more developing thunderstorms will be forming across uh, Luzon, particularly southern Tagalog provinces, Metro Manila, Central Luzon, parts of Bicol, so that's the sign that we are nearing the start of the wet season, and then on Saturday, Last day of May, again thunderstorms in various sections of Luzon. Not much over the uh, areas of the Mindanao and Visayas. Palawan included also. And on Sunday, June 1st, another uh, thunderstorm activity will be expected in the afternoon across Luzon. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas, rain gear within the next. Uh, uh, one to two weeks as uh, thunderstorms will be a common feature and it will coincide with the uh, start of the rainy season. It's normal right now since we are just uh, within the neutral uh, climate conditions. There's no longer La Nina. So we are exactly under that last week of May, first week of June for the start of the wet or rainy season. And we're still waiting for the first tropical cyclone to form. Uh, most likely within June. Okay, and if we take a look at the wind forecast, and we will show you here if there is a, a pending uh, LPA or tropical cyclone that will set to form during the next two weeks. But we are going to uh, first bring you the uh, wind direction for the next seven days. And uh, as you can see here, the, the wind will shift from the south on Wednesday. Thursday, it will now blowing from the southwest Friday Saturday as well as on Sunday as you can see there's a frontal system that will pull the southwesterly wind flow together with the development of a thermal low pressure here which is normal during this time of June if there's a thermal low pressure and there's a high pressure over South Indian Ocean or South uh, Southern Hemisphere over uh, continental Australia the tendency of the winds from that high pressure will move into the slow pressure. That's why we are having some southwesterly wind flow during June, July until September over the Philippines, particularly western Luzon and western uh, Visayas, Palawan, Mimaropa, so western parts of the country. Okay, so that will be the scenario, the shifting of winds, meaning it's a signal that the start of the uh, what season is upon us. Now moving forward until June 10, up to 14 days, the southwesterly wind flow will become a little bit stronger. We can call this as a minimal southwest monsoon. 
okay winds of uh, up to uh, 40 kph over the west philippine sea so, so areas here those who are fishing uh, and uh, traveling over the west philippine sea beginning uh, the last few days of may until the first week of june it will be rough here of up to meet two meters in wave heights okay so far uh, based on the european model there might be a low pressure area forming here along the uh, edge of the frontal system okay so we still don't know if it will develop into a significant lpa but so far there's a low pressure here over southern china and uh, northern vietnam so it will continue to enhance this southwesterly wind flow as for the american model same scenario until the end of may and uh, the aggressive american model is forecasting a low pressure system let me forward this here june 6 uh, over the yama island chain michikako jima area but we still don't know if this is a part of a frontal system or a subtropical low or a tropical cyclone but we will observe that and then june 7 8 9 there's another one here over hainan and uh, we will uh, simply uh, call this as a low pressure system that could form here so you can see the southwesterly monsoonal flow is already intact during the first 10 days of june based on the american model but uh, like i said more than seven days of the Amer american model forecast remains highly uncertain less than 20 percent accurate so we will keep you updated on that but the higher probability right now is that we are now shifting into the beginning of the wet season particularly during the last few days of may until the first week of june so it will be the start of the wet season and we will just uh, wait for the announcement official announcement from dost pagasa so watch out for that and for the wave forecast so far for the next uh, five days until uh, june 1st sunday the wave height sea over the west philippine sea will remain the same 1 to 1.5 meters in wave heights light uh, to slightly moderate over the central waters of our country particularly Sulu Archipelago, Visayan Sea. It will be around uh, calm to half a meter in wave heights. And over the West Philippine Sea, it will be slightly higher, uh, reaching up to two meters in wave heights because of the uh, arrival of the southwesterly wind flow. So those uh, fishing over the central waters of our country is still safe to do so. And also traveling by sea. But over the West Philippine Sea, during the next five days, it will be slightly, uh, a little rough, okay? Because of the onset of the southwesterly wind flow, up to two meters, not yet uh, very rough, okay? So we will keep you updated on that, but at least you know what will be the wave heights across the country in the next five to seven days. So there you go, that's the latest for this uh, week, the last week of the month of May, as we move into the start of the wet season. And officially, we are still awaiting the announcement of Pagasa. This is Mike Padua saying, have a great week ahead. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.